seven-function remote control color television, so beautiful it enhances any decor. Hi, I'm Freddie Thompson, and I'm here to talk to you about the invention of a television. Today we all watch TV anywhere and everywhere, but a hundred years ago it had only just been invented. People around the globe were racing to think of how to make it work and display images to us on a TV in our home. The man to make it all happen first was a Scotsman called John Logie Baird. In the process of inventing the TV, he gave himself a 3,000 volt shock, which threw him across the room. But he kept going and eventually he invented a machine that worked. In the olden days, the word television hadn't been thought of, so it was called the televisor. And the picture didn't look anything like it does now. Here is one of the very first public broadcasts made. Ladies and gentlemen, the man with a flower in his mouth. Ah, so you've missed your train. Yes. And this is what I would look like. Just the flicker. The images were poor, in black and white and on a very small screen. Only about eight centimeters big. TVs became the new craze. And if you could afford it, you would buy one. But in 1936, a TV cost the same money as a car. Here is the first TV considered to be for your home, made by Robert Doe. Would you tell our panel, please, what your name is and where you are from? Uh, I'm Robert Dome. Now, what is that object that you wheeled out there, sir? First television set. That's it's the first one! Oh. The crowning of George VI in 1936 really caught people's attention. It was the first ever outside broadcast. Not very clear, was it? That's what we would think. But in those days, it was considered amazing. The Queen Mother, who is their queen for so many years, is the idol of the British public. While... Stand by two, stand by the caption scanner, stand by to cue Richard. As TV became popular, new studios were built to provide ever more varied programs. Mix through, cue on two. Your eye tells why Motorola gives clearer, sharper pictures. TVs were at first huge. Eventually, they became a sensible size and they could be put in your living room. Stunning consoles, handsome combinations, 18 fashion award winning cabinet styles. In 1960, in America, the next big lead in TV was invented Color TV. Clean, modern styling, no knobs or gadgets in sight. And the remote control. Take the remote unit from its handy storage space and you're set for hours of pure pleasure. Over the following years, TV became a firm favorite in our lives. Sets got bigger, then slimmer. Then we got 3D. And we now watch TV in the car. On our phones, on the net. Where does TV go from here? Hi, TV. In a way, the future is already here. Last year, Google introduced wearables. Here are the basics of how to use glass. Entertainment systems that you wear. They call it glass. This is your touchpad. It runs from your temple to your ear. Tap the touchpad to wake up glass. You should see the display above your line of sight. Adjust it to see everything. You can tap on any card to see more. Swipe down anywhere to go back to the timeline. It integrates TV with communications, GPS, and entertainment. This is just the beginning of the next stage of the evolution of TV. In the future, this is what your living room could look like. Masses of TVs. How cool would that be?
Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah.